this video, we go over sanding for the first time, primer versus metal versus are we through the paint? How do we know? What kind of tools do we need? Oiling our air tools, how do we do that? We did that. We do sandpaper, we do hook and loop versus adhesive, the pain to save you time and money. We go through respirators for your safety. All the first steps to getting into sanding a car we cover. I went through the whole process, learned the hard way, so you guys don't have to, so you can make the right move, save time and money. So let's get into it. The time has come. We are ready to start sanding and getting this paint off of the car. I went and picked up the cheapest orbital dual action palm sander, they call these. So this one not only goes in a circle, but it also kind of like shakes side to side. And you want that compressor requirement, 30 plus gallons for continuous, seven to 29 for intermittent, one to six gallons, not recommended. You won't get much done very fast. We've got some six inch different grit sandpapers. Let's go over here, pull it out. This one costs about 40 something dollars. This is our pad. And we have our little wrench. Then these are oil daily. I'm gonna show you how to use that, how to do that for your air tools. Air tools need oil and you need this daily because this is gonna be getting used a lot. Unscrew the little black tip off of here. That is the sandpaper that's supposed to be stuck with the adhesive to the sander. And it just fell off. Hopefully it starts to stick. Nope, does not stick and nor will stick. We'll get to a solution for that in a second. These sanders, you have an exhaust side that you could potentially hook a hose up to. This one just spits it any direction. About two couple drops in here. And then we're gonna press on the palm sander, let it inside there. And we sh should be good for the afternoon. The next step in the process is an air compressor starter kit or something that has any of these adapters that you need. So this is the tip that hooks up to the uh, air compressor. And we're gonna need to put one, thread one into our palm sander. Before we do that, I'm gonna grab some Teflon tape. I have links to all of this in the description. Don't even stress that you have to write it down or worry about it. I'm gonna do one kind of thin layer, rip it off, slide it on there nice, then go ahead and start threading it in by hand. That was my phone, not yours. I'm gonna get my crescent wrench, start tightening this until it's snug. All right, that seems pretty tight. I'm gonna see if it works now. Huge shout out to my dad. He just moved down the street and he has a 33 gallon air compressor. It couldn't be any more clutch because they're kind of pricey. Oh man, I had no idea what I was doing at this point in the video. <laughs> much much better this red adhesive sanding disc is from home depot it's their brand it has better adhesive on it it sticks on much better but this is not a final solution this is me learning the hard way and figuring it out so stay with me here we'll get the hook and loop system at this point i don't have all the proper setup yet but i'm getting there i'm kind of learning what happens when i press firm am i through the paint yet am i to the primer have i hit metal what does that look like what happens when i move fast or slower let the machine do the work um, this is kind of fun to see what happens and mess with it my cousins down the street hooked me up with a mask tonight so i'm gonna finish this hood quick interruption Today's video is of course sponsored by our own community, Karma Speed, karmaspeed.com. Grab yourself a dope what goes around, comes around, t 
t-shirt. We have a couple sizes left. We got jet tags left and we have valve stem caps left. I want you guys all to grab some. Head over to the site right now. Go grab them before they're gone. Everything's almost sold out. We have a couple left. So I'm letting you know here before they're gone and uh, join the Facebook group, Instagram. I'll talk about it all at the end of the video. Thanks for your time. Let's get back to it. After further educating myself, I found out these masks are basically useless with this. You want to keep those particles from entering your lungs. Not necessarily the best thing. It is good that I at least have this mask on, but in a little bit, I'm going to show you a nice 3M mask that has a filter that you can swap out and whatnot. Just like me, you guys are going to have to get used to the sound of that air compressor. I'm so sorry. I know it sucks, but I'm getting the hang of it. It's kind of fun. You can kind of watch where, you know, at first I thought like this sort of green was where I'm going to end up, but I can really see now where the primer starts and where the green is still at. So like right here, it's kind of almost through to the primer. I'm gonna try and leave it on the primer and not go all the way to metal. But when you come over here, you can see the paint is so much thinner on the body lines. I was feathering it right here. And I don't wanna go to the metal. That's fine, it doesn't hurt anything. I definitely don't wanna mess up the body lines, but I'm gonna keep trying to get it this color where I can see the primer and clean it up and then, then we'll be ready to do all the Bondo. So I'm actually really enjoying the process. I'm not so scared anymore. So that's what it's all about. tonight i am not scared at all i don't know why i didn't do this a long time ago yeah i still have all the prep work but sanding a car i was like oh that's scary like what if you go too far what if you scratch the metal what if you blah blah blah, blah. excuses 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 bam we finally did it let's go at first it's an illusion you're going am i doing going too far am i not going too far then once you do like a big area you're like oh this is clearly some green paint left. This is clearly primer. This is clearly metal showing. So it's not a bad thing to have metal showing from my understanding. We just want to buzz off the paint so that we can get this thing nice and smooth. But this is just 80 grit, so it's real rough right now. And I'm just trying to find all these green areas. Like there's some green right here. There's some green right here. There's majority of it's gone. There's some green right there. You know, some of this stuff, I don't know how close I'm going to get on, but now we have a good idea of what's going on. And uh, now I'm excited. It's game on tomorrow. It's going to be hot, but we're going ham all day, and I definitely need a bigger air tank. That's 33 gallons, and it barely keeps up for me to make some decent progress pretty fast, although the hood's pretty big. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I did also take off this trim piece. I will take off the other one tomorrow. Look at all this gross. So this will be interesting what happens to the roof and the doors and all that. And I can't wait to get bondoing to get all this out. All right, so over to the right, or right behind his head, is where you're gonna find the backing pad, six inch hook and loop. Then you come over here, hook and loop, sanding discs 120 grit so i got a bunch of 120 i got 240 and 80 for days because we're gonna 80 the whole car it seems like <clears throat> so gonna return these now we got what we need let's pray that this fits <laughs> how thankful I am for the hook and loop system. Moving on to 240 grit, let's make this hood a little bit smoother in preparation for primer. We will be getting to the mask setup and respirator setup 
here in a little bit it is a very very important part to keep your safety at the top I didn't have that long of standing um, of working on this uh, I was still learning how everything worked so before I move on to the rest of the car we will have a nice respirator that you will see here in just a little bit feel good we went to 120 it gets a little softer you can kind of feel where the 80 grit was and where the 120 you just did then I went over the whole thing and made sure with my hand that it felt smooth and almost makes it remind me of like when you see the guys shaping surfboards I'm like constantly feeling like okay is that smooth smooth well oh, it's smooth okay let's switch to 240 now it's really smooth now we can feel all the areas pop the hood get the edges get everything I can by hand by with the with the sander and then later we're gonna come back come back with blocks by hand and kind of touch everything up so I know I know what we're doing now, I feel comfortable. It's a much simpler process than I thought. It's not as scary as you would think. And now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the fender and um, keep going to town and see if we can get this whole car looking gray as soon as possible. So we got a lot of work to do and I'm already sick of listening to that air compressor. I think I'm gonna try and move it outside. Here we are looking at a 3M performance respirator model P100. I picked this up at my Ace Hardware. Good luck finding these online. It's pretty tough right now with Corona and all the nonsense going on. So I was glad I found this at Ace for 33 bucks. This is a great beginner setup. This is not the setup that we're gonna be using when we paint the car. That's gonna be a whole nother thing to make sure we keep those particles out of our lungs. How this works is this diaphragm right here only lets air out in the middle, while the sides let air in that are filtered. Here's our package with our cartridges. Let's open this up. These slide in like that. You put them on at an angle. like that we've got our replaceable cartridges now when you wear something like this and pull that tight pull this tight oh man this is gonna suck kind of pulls down on my nose kind of I can get used to this with the hot weather, it's gonna suck, but you definitely don't ever wanna share this. What if this person's sick? You know, I don't care how broke you are, go buy one for yourself. These cartridges filter the particles in the air and keep it from getting in your lungs. Safety first, moving forward with the rest of the car, and then we're gonna get a different one when we paint the car. So for now, we're good. I can order replacement cartridges, no problem. They're in stock, but getting a mask is kind of difficult. Maybe check out your Lowe's Ace Hardware, ask for a respirator. Then you'll get directed to one of these. From what I've read, you change these filters out when you can tell that the filters are not letting enough air in to breathe easily. You'll be able to, it's kind of like a, it's just like a car intake. When it's dirty, your car can't get in as much air. You don't got as much power. You can't get enough air in your lungs because this is slowing the air down coming in because the filters are clogged. So, hope that helps. I got stuff in the description to order some respirators. If you can't find any locally, 
or you just want to order online because you're not in a rush and you're preparing for when you do paint a car and you just want to order it now and add it to your arsenal of tools. When you're done with this, you're going to want to put it somewhere clean. I'm going to keep this in my room with me away from dust, dirt, etc. I don't want to be getting anything in my lungs and that's why we have this. Coming up, once we get done sanding the majority of the car, we're going to be using Durablock setup. I'm going to be talking about that. I don't know why they have such a creepy packaging with clowns. Um, painters are usually pretty hardcore, so it doesn't surprise me. But I went and bought a bunch of sandpaper at Ace Hardware as well. So that is something we're getting into in the future as bodywork and Bondo and all that um, proceeds to happen. Um, if you guys are new here, we're all about building confidence in the garage, learning everything we can about each specific sports car model from before buying it to after getting it, DIY modifying it in the garage ourselves. That's what the Karma Speed community is all about. If you're new here, the brand on the channel is called Karma Speed. That is also the community. We have the merch, obviously. We have some sizes left of this shirt that came out super rad and as well as some valve stem caps you guys need to grab. We have our private Facebook group called Karma Speed. That's where the community best. We're almost to a thousand members. Make sure you add yourself. Go sign up for the Karma Speed Facebook group linked in the description. Send me your cars on the Karma Speed Instagram account. DM me your best photo of your car that you like and I will schedule it out so we can all see what our, you know, everyone in the community's cars look like and whatnot and we're having awesome conversations in that Facebook group. So don't forget, grab some merch, join the Facebook group, send me your photo of your car or your project on Instagram. I'll be scheduling them out. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I'm excited to keep learning with you and uh, keep going and making huge progress on the Impreza.